hey thank you for stopping in i am cherish laura y'all in today's video i decided to go ahead sit down put my camera on because i want to share this idea with you so i have some clients who are in the process of cake tasting well you can't go into the bakery to taste the cakes in a pandemic but i still want them to feel special so this idea is for any bride or groom who wants to try this out any maid of honor the bride of the groom the mother of the bride anyone who wants to make their bride and groom feel special go ahead and set up an in-home cake tasting you can take this idea and run with it if you just want to stay simple and just try out the cakes from your local bakery or whatever bakery you decide to go with, then cool. Or if you wanna just make it a little bit more intimate and special, I'm gonna go a little bit medium with the intimate level because I do want them to feel special and I do want them to feel like they are stepping into an experience. So I'm gonna get set up before they get here. I have about like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna get set up and put everything together and I'll let you know how it looks. show you how Publix packaged their cakes all nice and pretty all wrapped up so this is from our local bakery and they do cupcakes so a lot of bakeries especially if they're doing complimentary um, cake tastings, they will actually do cupcakes. It's just easy for them to do that when they're prepping for um, their actual day to do cupcakes. overview of how the cakes look and I just use my cake stands that I have just use some place cards to put um, what it will be so this one is like chocolate with wedding cream cheese the, this is the chocolate cupcake that comes from the local bakery so it's chocolate with uh, buttercream icing and then that's how that looks and then this has this is from Publix but look how they did the names with the buttercream icings so pretty. I love the presentation with Publix. Like I said, do not sleep on Publix. They're so good. Now that I have the cake set up, I went ahead and printed off a sheet for them that just says wedding cake tasting that has Publix and then the different flavors so they can take notes with it. The other sheet, it just has the homestyle bakery with the cakes and the icing flavors as well. So, and then here's a pin for them. <music> Here's an overview of the layout. I tried to keep like cakes alike. So chocolate cake from Publix, it's gonna be right next to the chocolate cake from the bakery. So therefore they can compare each flavors and find which bakery is best for them. all set up and just in enough time they just text and say they're like down the street so it's all perfect i'm just scoot the chairs in so thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful so keep in mind even though it's a pandemic find ways to make wedding planning fun and find ways to go ahead and start knocking off your to-do list so that way when you are ready 
to get back into the full swing of planning that it's not so much pressure on you and it's not so much piled on that you're able to make those little baby steps that are gonna help in the long run. Don't forget to subscribe if you like weddings, events, lifestyle. I am all here for you. So thank you so much. Bye. Yay, they're here. The wedding tasting was a success. It was a hit. If you're ever thinking that you should bring your wedding cake tasting in home, go for it. Cause that was such a fun experience. Um, but the couple's gone and so cleaned up, but I want to try out the wedding cream cheese. Cause while they were tasting it, I didn't taste. I was trying to, you know, let them, let them get their um, experience in kind of just hosting. Publix made an extra one. You see, it's not as pretty as the other ones, just so I know that this one's mine. <laughs> So I am going to try. Publix cakes is so good, so moist, fluffy, delicious. The cream cheese has like a tangy taste to it. Mm. Still rich. Mm. This is some good cake. This is really, really good cake. Mm.